Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on cables. So I have some Silkland cables. One of the comments I got when I did my review on the Sony InZone M9 monitor, there were some comments, people were asking me, I got some questions about flickering and that sort of thing. And flickering at high refresh, such as 144 Hz, typically indicates a cabling problem. So it usually means that the cable being used either is defective or it just doesn't have enough bandwidth to do 4K 144Hz. One thing that you could try doing in terms of troubleshooting is you can drop the refresh rate down to 60Hz and see if the flickering goes away. The primary solution though would be to get a cable that supports DisplayPort 1.4 4K 144 or Future Proof with DisplayPort 2.1 which allows 16K at 60 hertz or 8K 120 hertz or 4K to 40 hertz. So that's what we're gonna look at here. So we're gonna open these up real quick and we're going to dive right in. So these kind of open up like that, they come in bags. You can order these off of Amazon. I've got the links in the video down below. But you can see here, this is a DisplayPort cable that can do 16K. So this is a DisplayPort 2.1 cable, which means that it has enough bandwidth to support not only 4K 144, but 4K 240 hertz. And it can also do full 16K 60 hertz or 8K 120 hertz. Kind of overkill for the application, but this will ensure that you don't have any issues with flickering. So you can see it's full DisplayPort on both ends. And that is ideal if you're pairing this up with a high-end GPU, for instance, if you're PC gaming. Again, it says 16K on there. So these are from Silicon. I will demonstrate these with the 4K144 in a little bit. And then you can see I have with me here a Radeon RX 7900 XTX reference card. So this card features DisplayPort 2.1 on the DisplayPort on the back as well as the USB-C. So the USB-C is another interesting thing. So if you have a cable that supports USB-C to DisplayPort, like I have here, and now let's take a look at this other cable. So this is what you would need if you wanted to drive a monitor off of that USB-C port on the back of the graphics card. So you can see here, we've got USB-C on one end, and then we have DisplayPort on the other end. I believe this is unidirectional, meaning you have to have the video source coming from the USB-C, and then the output is gonna be on the DisplayPort end, which means on the graphics card, the USB-C goes into the graphics card like that. You can see it there. And then the other end, the DisplayPort end, is going to go into the monitor. Another useful application that we can see with USB-C based DisplayPort cables would be on laptops and docking stations. So you can run a DisplayPort based output via USB-C, a DisplayPort cable like this one uh, off of the docking station so you can get another monitor in addition to the monitors from your standard DisplayPort or HDMI. And then also with the laptops, you know, some of these business laptops now, they're starting to do away with the full-size DisplayPort and mini DisplayPort. More and more I'm seeing either uh, HDMI or we have a USB 4, also known as a Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 port. So this one would also accept USB-C, but it needs to be USB-C on the video out. So keep that in mind. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you guys how to connect these to two different monitors. So right there, you can see I've got the DisplayPort 2.1 cable is connected to the graphics card. That's the one on the left. And then we have the USB-C cable on the right. So both of these are going to two different monitors. So you can see, but the signal out of them is gonna be DisplayPort, even though that one is a USB-C. That's DisplayPort alt mode. So you can see this is the USB-C to DisplayPort. So you got DisplayPort going into the monitor and then we've got the other DisplayPort cable plugged in to the other monitor. This is the 2.1 cable. So this one's good for 4K 240 hertz. The other one is good for 4K 144 hertz. Okay, just to kind of show 
uh, what it looks like once you get the cables connected with the monitors. So you can see adaptive sync compatible, so this is your free sync, and then you have virtual super resolution. None of that stuff is unique, but what is unique is down here, you can see the, the sort of bandwidth that it supports on the free sync range. Uh, and then the other thing is the ability to do the RGB 444 pixel format. So the full RGB range is allowed via this cable at 10 BPC. So there are higher end monitors that this cable will enable you to get the full color spectrum. So just keep that in mind. All right, and then our other monitor here, the second display, this one is connected via the USB-C to display port, but it will show up as a display port. So like I said earlier, USB-C uses DisplayPort as the standard for its video output. So that's going to be this second monitor. And then we've got an additional monitor allows for variable refresh rate. So the nice thing about FreeSync is that you can leverage it not only on DisplayPort cables, but also via HDMI cables as well. So it shows up as VRR or variable refresh rate technology when utilizing an HDMI cable. What I want to show here is this is the Wikipedia page for DisplayPort. And what I want to show is this table for the specifications. You can see this newest one over here on the right, DisplayPort 2.0 and 2.1. 2.1 is as of October 2022. So this is really new. And you can see the UHBR20 per lane. So the total maximum bandwidth supported by DisplayPort 2.1 is 80 gigabit. That's the total bandwidth, but the actual data rate is 77 gigabits. So I imagine cables like the one I have shown today, the DisplayPort to DisplayPort, six, it's labeled as a 16K cable from Silkland, but it is one of those 2.1 enabled cables, so it can support the theoretical 80 gigabit per second bandwidth. So that is 8K capable. In fact, that's even 16K capable kind of overkill today because we don't have any displays that can really show that technology. That's kind of why I wanted to show it with the AMD graphics card because the AMD graphics card is the only one as of right now at the time of filming that supports the DisplayPort 2.1 standard. They actually do 16K 60 Hertz, 8K 120 Hertz. Hope you guys found this video useful. I will leave the links to the specific cables that I have shown in the video description below. And if you have any questions regarding a particular monitor, resolution, and refresh rate, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you when I can. And hope you guys found this video useful and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.